Fix error code 0x8004230 when performing system restore. Possible solution 1, gain the admin access, and run sfc.exe. See detailed instructions at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash m7f9ux. Use the system file checker tool to repair missing or corrupted system files. Additionally, you may need to copy the dwrite.dll from a different Windows, i.e., Windows 7, computer or use Windows installation disk to replace the same. Possible solution 2. One, re-register the DLLs that are needed by the Volume Shadow Copy Service, VSS. Disclaimer, stopping VSS will remove all previous restore points. You had better create a new system restore point once you are done with the below steps. Open the command prompt as the admin user, run the following code snippets one by one, cd windows backslash system32, note, this line depends on where your copy of Windows is installed. Netstop VSS Netstop SWP RV Rakes for 32 old 32 dot DLL. Rakes for 32 VSS underscore PS dot DLL. VSS VC slash register Rakes for 32 slash ISWP RV dot DLL. Rakes for 32 slash I eventals dot DLL. Rakes for 32 ES dot DLL. Rakes for 32 Strob dot DLL. Rakes for 32 VSUI dot DLL. Note, the above snippet would also work for Windows 2003 users. Rakes for 32 MSXML dot DLL. Rakes for 32 MSXML 3 dot DLL. Rakes for 32 msxml 4dll Note, the last three depend on what XML versions you have installed. If you get error here, reinstall corresponding XML version, here's how at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash sbf2m. How to install Microsoft XML parser and Microsoft XML core services, msxml. Further on, if some of the other required files are missing or corrupt you can copy them from c colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash dll cache. When you complete the commands above, exit the command exe. Step 2, you may also temporarily disable security software, if you're using one. Important, this step may increase your security risk. This steps may also make the computer or the network more vulnerable to attack by malicious users or by malicious software such as viruses. We recommend the process that this guide describes to enable programs to operate as they are designed to or to implement specific program capabilities. Before you make these changes, we recommend that you evaluate the risks that are associated with implementing this process in your particular environment. If you decide to implement this process, take any appropriate additional steps to help protect the system. We recommend that you use this process only if you really require this process. Additionally, run your system in the clean boot. And, also scan for malware slash spyware afterwards, using the recommended Avast Internet Security in this video guide. Step 3. If you had trouble getting step 1 done, e.g., the module swprv.dll was loaded but the call to DLL register server failed with error code 0x8007075, perform the SFC scan and create a user account on your computer. Solution 3.
1. Check if the volume shadow copy service is running on your computer or not. Step 2. The admin access, run check disk, chkdsk, command on all the drives in your computer. Int, type in the command chkdsk slash r slash f without quotes and hit enter. Important, while performing chkdsk on the hard drive if any bad sectors are found on the hard drive when chkdsk tries to repair that sector if any data available on that might be lost. Note, running chkdsk would also work for Windows Home Server users. Solution 4. Step 1, remove all restore points. Click start button, right click computer and choose properties. Click advanced system settings. In system protection tab, select the available drives which has protection on, click configure, click turn off system protection. Then turn on the protection later. Step 2, restart vol- Shadow copy service. Other voices on the web, 1. If you have, or had, more than one backup program installed on your system, disable slash remove all of those third PRTY backup programs, using the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide. Because some other backup software which has replaced the Microsoft's own shadow copy provider, or stopped it from working properly, for example Akrani's true image. If you have such software installed I think you can best contact the provider. Moreover, check if you're running multiple backup devices, hardware. 2. Run command prompt as the admin user and, Change the limit, vsadmin resize shadow storage slash 4 equals x, slash on equals x, slash maxisize equals x x percent, 30 percent is kindly recommended. 3. Make sure that the destination drive is fully compatible with the NTFS format. 4. Retry scheduling your backup for a time where there is less disk usage. 5. Make sure that the system restore option is enabled on the drives where you want system restore enabled. Meanwhile, make sure that you have sufficient disk space on all the drives where system restore is enabled. 6. Make sure that the volume shadow copy and task scheduler and Microsoft software shadow copy provider service is running and set on automatic. 7.
Check with your system administrator if he has disabled system restore, and if so, ask him to re-enable system restore. 8. Reset the repository, boot into safe mode, here's how, and open a command prompt as administrator. Now type net stop win and hit enter. Next go to c colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash wbem and rename the repository folder to repositor yold. Restart your system.